Hello everyone, Pally Tum here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're releasing 14 videos in the first week of this game's official launch. Subscribe to not miss a single episode. And thank you guys for hitting that thumbs up button. I didn't address it in the previous episode because I was tired, but you may be wondering why we're just allowed to walk around the inside of the Temple of Salune. Well, normally there is a security checkpoint right through this door, but because we used stealth to enter this place and we used will to blast a hole through a kind of decrepit looking wall upstairs, everyone just assumes that we have the security clearance we need to be here. There are a number of prisoners in here that are of very high interest to us. Uh, there's also a bunch that I don't know anything about and I'm just trying to set free. Because of course, the Tieflings and the Druid Grove have both hired us to clear the road of goblins. This is the bard that we saw outside earlier. He's been moved inside now and is still being watched by his goblin protector. I was thinking after I finished that last session, one way I could have slipped that poison into the party keg outside would, would be using turn-based mode to do that. I completely forgot when I was put in that situation, so I'm gonna use it here. We are going to try and sneak up right behind this goblin. With any luck, the bard will indeed let us sneak, and now we'll perform our sneak attack to kill his captor. Once again, these enemies will witness <gasps> assaulting someone. You're headed for the cells. I can't believe you missed that. Oh my god. I can't believe you missed that. I should still get a surprise round. No, I don't. I just got hit by a level one goblin. Zen, is that really how we're starting today? <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Intervention. All right, Bard. Hey, I see you, bud. Let me see if I can get this lock open for you. I'm totally invisible right now. So if there are any onlookers, hopefully this lock just pops open like the previous one. That'll do it with the bonuses that we have. But it was kind of close. It was kind of close. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. Well, not yet. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. <laughs> I love how Zen is always just covered in blood, <laughs> just all the time. At any time you talk to him, uh, get yourself to safely quick. And how just well you accomplish that? Yeah, what are you going to be singing about? Volo Temp Geda, realm renowned author, author, and tastemaker at your service. Hello. Get out of here. Once I've written you oh. into one of my books, <laughs> there won't be a tavern in Feru. You can enter without receiving a hero's welcome. We mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Oh. Well. Wait, you could go to my camp? Yeah. I like having bards around. The last time a bard was around, it went really well. Why don't you go to my camp, friend? Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Oh. Choice words there. Wait, you got invisibility potions? Is that what that is? And you got caught? How? You know, I worry about some people sometimes. Well, Zen is still not an enemy here. Every time we've been spotted doing a crime, we've killed the person that spotted us. So far, it's been a very good strategy. It's been working out well. There are at least three goblins in the next room. We know that there should be some drow in here that helped organize the goblins on one of these attacks. We know for certain that Will's father was said to be taken by drow and goblins. If I can get back up to the rafters, we might be able to check around a little bit easier. Ooh, there is a chest hidden up here with silver plates and another really small chest over there. I wonder if I can even make that. <laughs> I never noticed this one up here, that's for sure. 
Nice, Zen. We didn't even need any buffs for it. Very good. Okay, that was a little bit better. We at least got a little bit of gold. Now, there are some goblins moving around in this area. My biggest concern is that if I do start combat and things don't go well, these guys could find another war drum to call in reinforcements. It looks like they do have another prisoner in a cage. Is it another goblin? Oh, it is. That's interesting. Looks like I can jump across this gap. And maybe... Yes! Get above this back room here. Is that Drawer Razglin? Oh, hold on. Dead Mind Flayer too. You remember when we went and looked at the at the Nautiloid? Originally, ah, I don't I don't know if I can get my camera down there easily. Originally there was a Mind Flayer that we stomped on and killed. It looks like they have recovered the body. And well, whatever they're doing probably isn't good. True soul of the absolute with at least half a double and half a dozen, excuse me, goblins in there with him. If we look to our right, we see that scrying eye. But can we spot anything else in the corner? I think I'm still allowed to be here, even though it is a little sketchy. There we go. True soul of the absolute night warden, Minthara. She is a drow in the back corner. Well, for the time being, I'm going to jump Zen over here. And I think he's going to hang out. I do have an idea, though. A chill runs down Whoa. your spine. Lady Shah's twin and nemesis, the moon goddess Saluna, was once worshipped here. Yet this place clearly fell to ruins long before goblins infested it. Perhaps due to the dark justices you found signs of. No matter. The truth will be revealed in time. You silently offer a prayer to Shah and her glory. You guys tell me anything about Shah down in the comments? I don't know much... I know a decent amount of Salune because uh, just of exploring through Act 1, but not so much any of the other gods. Well, my idea was that we have a ritual cast of Disguise Self that we can use on Shadowheart, and I wanted to see what would happen if I just walked over there as a drow. I've never done that before. So... <laughs> Let's find out. Does this have a amount of time that it lasts or is this just going to be appearances entirely changed? Okay. I know if you play a drow in this area, the goblins definitely treat you differently. What would the other drow over here do? Hey, hey, Scrut. How are you? I what's it floating about. Best hope it don't take a fancy to ya. Unless you like playing hide and seek when you're trying to take a damn. Oh my god. Do they watch you do that? Do they do that? Hey, you don't know. Ah, a grunt like the rest of us, eh? It's a floating eye, mate. Your bosses at Moonrise enjoy spying on us. Load a trollop. Just don't trust us to do what we do best. Killing things. <laughs> How about I start following you, eh? Your so... With any luck, this goes okay. We might need a lot of luck, but just asking questions, there's nothing wrong with that. Your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue. A limb. I know oh my you goodness. Feel like my limbs. The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature, or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. Uh oh. A cold hand caressing your brain. 
the chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. She's one of the chosen? True soul? Praise be, sister. Are you here to join my hunt? Oh. A hunt? Who's the target? Worshippers of a false god. Their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers' blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. The Githyanki were also looking for a weapon, right? Anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the Gith artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Absolute's clutches. The thief whimpering in our dungeon tried to flee to their sanctuary. We will continue to remove parts of him until he tells us exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Tiffany should be warned. Together you can outnumber her warband. Leading her to the tieflings might doom them, but it would at least earn you her trust. Perhaps you can misdirect her or kill her. Yes, that one! That one! Speak, true soul. The hunt must begin soon. So... Uh, I could be persuasive. I'll visit the prisoner. You don't need the prisoner. I already know the place you're looking for. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll go talk to the prisoner. Excellent. Be sure not to kill him before he talks. Could you lead me to him, this perhaps? They seek. Perhaps it's the artifact. So, is the prison nearby here? I literally have expressed permission to go there right now, if it is. Uh... Hey! Steal something, or all right the bollocks, will ya? I'm itching to throw someone in the brick. <laughs> is this it? Oh, it sure is. There's a jail cell on the left and on the right. Do we spot anything on the far edges of the room? No, I, can't, I don't think I can discern anything just yet. Well, we know where the prison is. How do we want to break these guys out? Since we're allowed to be in here, we still have Shadowheart in disguise in the center as we see three goblins looking at a very large bear on the right side. Now, last we heard, Halson was disguised as a bear, so it's very likely that that's him. We also see some wargs on the other side being fed meat, and of course, where would our barbarian gravitate towards? The food, of course. She's always hungry, very relatable. Will is checking the jail sails up top, trying to find his dad, just like my southern accent just found me right now. But so far, he couldn't see anything. And Zen has spotted a lone target at the top of the stairs that he think he, he could take out quick, just in case things do go awry. So with all of that in place, let's bring Shadowheart up to the gate and see what happens. Keep your hands steady, three. <coughs> hey, little buddy. Again! Again! Make it squeal again. Uh, what are you guys doing? We're juicing it up. The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. And it makes funny noises. <laughs> we made it squeal. Look, look, you'll see. I'll show you. 
Give her the rock, I'll show you. Um, may maybe we don't. Maybe we don't do that. One thing I really do like about this game is that you get to see the other point of view. So we saw the adventurers running away from the goblins. And of course, Halson was captured here because he was raiding this place with them. But to the goblins, they lost someone that they knew. They killed them. So of course the goblins are going to be mad here. That makes perfect sense. Uh, Shadow Hearts never used her illithid powers before. I imagine this is going to be very easy for her, but let's try it. Oh yeah, two? That's nothing. God, could you imagine rolling a one on that? All right, we roll the 13. Oh, you're also uh, a true soul. Uh, yes, I am. Now let him out. Across your mind. Ooh. You feel sated. But, but I want to hear it squeal. One. That's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. You're damn right. Sorry, Mum. I'll open the cage for you. That does make me feel bad that they have young goblins here and I think we're about to kill them. Just for the record, that does make me feel bad. The bear sizes you up. Wary, but not yet attacking. Wary, but not yet attacking. Leave the bear to the goblin's mercy. Attack the goblins or charge the bear. Well, we all know what's going on here. This is the leader of the Druid Grove. We are going to attack the goblins. Is everyone pulled in right away? It looks like indeed they are. We're gonna see Zen open up with a sneak attack on Warrior Plig in the back room. That is going to give him invisibility. We're then going to cunning action and dash into the center of all of the festivities. Now, get the, guards. get the guards. It seems as though the smaller goblins are running away from this fight, trying to get help. Maybe I can... Oh, that's a big old spider. Maybe I can knock them out before they get too far. There's another disengage happening. Okay, just in case you ever want to do this in your games, there is a passive button here that brings over non-lethal targetable attacks. You still attack people all the same. Nothing really changes from your perspective, except you're knocking them out instead of cutting their throats. So I might try to do that for the kids. I don't like, I don't want to beat up, you know, the future of goblins. These guys made all these decisions. We're gonna frenzy straight away with our Barbarian and go for a swing on Beastmaster Zerk. 19 total HP, 70% chance to hit. Make that 13 damage that we deal. Okay, we're gonna be able to slice to these guys pretty fast. That will end her turn. We see Will on the high ground. Oh God. Will is going to cast a Hex. Uh, we'll do a Constitution Hex on one, the first of the small goblins. We're then going to turn our passives on and make sure... Oh, it does it for the whole party. We're going to make sure that we don't knock this person out. Or we, we just knocked them out. We don't kill them. But of course, as I do that, we miss. Shadowheart is now face to face with the bear. He's friendly with us, though. So I am going to... You know what is probably the most important, to be honest, are... Uh, we need to make sure these guys don't get help. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cast Firebolt. It never connects with anything, but let's try it. Um. Oh. Oh. Should have thought that through. How are you going to do a non-lethal Firebolt? Oh. Okay. All right. Well, now we know. You don't know until you know, and now we know. Okay. One of the goblins approaches Halson going for some swings. The two wargs locked in the other cages. I'm surprised they're not trying to break their way out. There they go, dealing four damage to the gate. It only has eight HP remaining. They're going to break through that pretty quickly. The spider from above is doing its action, and it chose to... Did it go invisible? What? Did the spider have a ranged attack? I think it shot a web at Shadowheart. We are now seeing the butcher throwing some figs around the room. Okay, this is a non-lethal attack, right? 
Jeez. It does feel like a bit of a waste to waste. Uh, if I was to use Zin's attack to just do six damage, he hits so hard. But I'm going to try. There we go. They're knocked out. You see that? I'm not a bad person. It was an accident. So let's go ahead and toggle that off, though. The rest of these goblins are adults. They made these decisions themselves. Uh, with my cunning action, I think I'm going to dash just over here to the left. If I can get some damage in on these guys, we might be able to get the summon out of play relatively quickly. We are going to see a dash. Oh, that'll do it. Well, speaking of getting the summon out, we just did it. Now with another swing from our barbarian. Oh yeah, make it reckless. Oh yeah. Oh, good dodge. Good dodge. Can Will do anything from his vantage point right now? This is going very well. There's not even too much we really need him to do. Uh, let me get off the passives. We're going to try to just dash him to the left side of the room as well because all of the guards have pretty much been taken down already. She already attacked, but she can still... No, she can't throw. I thought I could do that. I can. Enraged throw is a bonus action. Because Halson hasn't gone yet, if I could just throw this guy down the stairs... There we go. 13 damage, and he's prone. That was even better than I thought. His turn is very late in the turn order, so that means Halson should be able to move up and get some damage in there. At least, I think. We're going to step to the right. We have disadvantage on this, right? Because he's prone. Oh, he's even too far. We can't even do it. Man, that'll end my turn. The wargs are once again biting at their cages. It only has five HP remaining. Another good attack could cripple the gates. Could send it toppling down. But no. Jump over the grease into a swing for 14 damage. And now Halson himself is approaching the gate. To help things along, Zen's going to try and fire off his crossbow bolt at it. 100% chance to hit. Four damage. It's got one HP remaining. I do need to take damage if I'm going to keep the enrage going. But unfortunately, we don't take any there. So we are likely to lose our frenzy. Although, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, I got this helmet. I already attacked. Could I just throw a helmet at our barbarian or something? To keep the enrage going? <laughs> okay. No one in my inventory has anything useful to throw in most situations. Can you throw this, bud? Oh, not for my inventory. We can't do anything too cheeky. All right, it was just a funny idea anyway. You know what we could try is firing off the firebolt it never connects with anything it'll miss <laughs> oh we lost the frenzy unfortunate the beast is approaching housing at our site wow just shoving that gate out of there <laughs> does that hurt it being stuck on you like that we're gonna go for a range sneak attack on tail the warg on the right side 13 damage was enough to kill it now, Karlak is going to swing for another 13 damage. We're going to get an Eldritch Blast from Will, connecting for not enough movement. Will, what are you talking about? You can't see that that warg from there, my dude? Connecting for 13 damage. And with that, well, that Pardon bear's looking mighty I, handsome now, I isn't he? You should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either we actually... Way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. That's just the events from his perspective. We had it on good authority that the bear was Halson from one of the prisoners that we freed in an earlier episode. Uh, glad I could be of help. I spoke to Nettie and she said you could help me with a parasite in my head. I think that's the way. Let's start with that immediately. Parasites in your head? You mean you have one of them? Yes. Wait, what are you doing? <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But 
Something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Well, I'm aware of it because I saw it get implanted. <laughs> I escaped from an illithid ship being infected. Maybe the process was interrupted before it could truly set in. Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. Oh, that's good news. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. So does he mean where the mind flayers got the tadpoles from? I gotta know more about that. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. You seem to know a lot about this. Can you come with us to Moonrise? I mean, you do have a... You do have a big druid grove you have to look after, I understand, but... I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. Hey, we're pretty good at that. Do you need some I help? I have no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. How do I help? My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the drow in Thara, the hobgoblin draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. Well, I can absolutely do that. I'll deal with this. You get to safety. We'll take them out right now. There is no safety. Not while this rot festers. Once it is cut out, once the grove is secure, then I shall leave. Oh, so he's going to stay with us? Your bear form may prove useful. Is this like getting rid of one of my companions to use him? Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. <laughs> All right, you stay may here then. Banners... I mean, I'm gonna slay the entire place anyway, but I wanna make sure that we have the opportunity to set it up the way I want to. And Halson is just like, bro, I'm mad. I'm gonna be attacking everybody. <sighs> We're going to do a short rest. Here I go. Heal up after that conflict. One of the goblins is still unconscious here. But I'd be remiss if I did not check all of the cells in here. Trying to find Will's father. It's not looking good, though. I really thought this was going to be it. The scry and I was if we're going to kill all of the remaining leaders, that is right. going to be a what pretty big task. The drow is surrounded by goblins on every side, and the other leader was in this room, surrounded on every side, too. Doing this quietly may be difficult, but there are some things we can do to help our odds. For instance, it is destruction of property to destroy one of their war drums. But if we turn off these lights and sneak down with Zen. Why are you sneaking around? You didn't see anything. They won't see me do this, theoretically. So let me try. You should explain your vandalism before anything else gets broken. Oh, Make sorry. Well, so much for that. 
Will we be able to attack with our sneak attack? Yes, we can. Sharp Eye Nass is going to take some damage as Zen goes invisible after. I think these guys are going to run this way, so I'm going to try to be in a position to cut them off. We see a critical miss as one of the goblins opens up on Shadow Heart and then rushes forward closer to her. Bold strategy you got there. <laughs> we have been seen? He found me. I wonder if I can detect presences like that. Uh, we're going to pick up one goblin and throw it into the other. Dealing damage to both, or at least that's what I was hoping. And then Karlak is going to get even closer to the enemy. We should get attack of opportunity if they choose to run away. A critical hit in melee range with a bow. That is wild. Congratulations. You deserve an, a, an award for that. We get a critical hit of our own as we hit Sharp Eye Neem with Shadow Heart's Mace. Now we see Will. He's going to recast his Hex onto Sharp Eye Eve. Very similar name, but two very different goblins. Don't get them confused. 65% chance to hit. It does miss. And he's going to move into melee range with the rest of his turn. Now Zen is up and ready. We see a sneak attack on Eve. Connect for 11 damage. A flurry of... Eh, I don't even need to flurry. We're just gonna... We're going to do a uh, melee attack with our open hand. Five damage there. And now it is Karlak's turn, so she's just going to swing at the goblin in front of her. These goblins would have been reinforcements if we uh, were detected in the other room. So we are making our lives a little bit easier already. The scrying eye is in the next room. Let me gather my whole party together. We'll go take a look at it. We have entered turn-based mode in the room with the drow and it their conversation is continuing but effectively the world is frozen right now my number one concern is that if the scrying eye is conveying information to someone else we don't want the eye to see anything happening so my first move i going. think has to be attacking the scrying eye which i'm not super excited about but i'm still gonna do it it has eight hp i don't know if i can do that in a single hit we will try that's only Takes three damage. Fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. And that's fine. I really thought I was going to kill the eye, though. I really thought I was... Dang, that sucks. I moved Shadowheart into position so I could use my sneak attack on these guys with my ranged weapon. 75% chance to hit Rozak, a level three goblin, sitting next to the drow. 13 damage being done there. And I'm going to try to move this way. Not the ideal opening that I was hoping for. Attack of Opportunity from Shadowheart does not connect. Uh, so Shadowheart is the closest to this level six Minthara. I'm pretty afraid of that. So we're gonna cast Mirror Image so that she's at least a little bit harder to hit. She doesn't know which image is the real Shadowheart. At least that's what we're hoping. And uh, I don't have anything I need to heal. I could potentially healing word. I think we're fine. That'll be it. So, the drow moves away and casts Hold Person on my Barbarian. That certainly messes up the play I wanted to do quite a lot. However, it may have opened up another possibility. Can I get there? Is there any way that I can get there? I was hoping for a good knockback on Will, 50% chance to hit with his Eldritch Blast. So I'm gonna move to this rock. Maybe that'll give us a hit on pushing her into the pit. But no, Eldritch Blast does not connect. I, I could have moved Hex over. I just wanted to see if the knockback would do it. I had faith in it. Hold person <laughs> is done and the goblin approaches. Karlak dealing seven damage and then trying to run away. Reckless war cry being used and a psychic scream coming from the scrying eye. Well, I suppose I have to deal with this guy, huh? And he just sees me. So we're gonna go for a melee attack on him. 50% chance to hit. Melee attack does connect and then we're gonna do an unarmed strike and try to finish him off. The unarmed strike did not connect. As he runs away, I should get attack of opportunity. We did miss. As he runs by Will, Will should get attack of opportunity. 
I did not see the drum there. Wow, that was just lucky positioning. Holy moly. I would really love to try and push this target into the pit here. Uh, target cannot be restrained. That is very odd. So we'll go for a melee swing with Shadowheart connecting for four damage. 48 HP remaining. Healing word should be in range, so I'm going to send one over to Karlak. Give her six HP back. And hopefully she'll have an exciting turn. The Drow turns to hit Shadowheart and just disposes of two of her illusions. We're going to frenzy. Surprise, surprise. I'm then going to pick up this guy. I can't do that. We're going to have to swing. Here we go. 70% chance to hit. Scrut takes quite a lot of damage there. Almost half of his HP. And that will conclude her turn. Meanwhile, Will is going to continue to look for that opportunity for his Eldritch Blast to be a knockback. 55% chance to hit. Let me go ahead and move the Hex over before we fire it. No, 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 no. You just saw her. Don't change your mind. Thank you. Found my mark. Oh, God. All right. That drow's dead. Problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll just figure out the rest of this room fairly easily, I imagine. Now, the main problem with killing her that way is we don't get to check her person to see if there was any good loot inside of her inventory. But, you know, it was still pretty funny. I'll still take that. I'm going to shoot for the scrying eye. I have to use a regular ranged attack. To no, I could bonus action sneak. And then there we go. So the scrying eye is dead. The last thing it saw was the drow falling down into the pit. That did give us some useful information. The scrying eye was not summoned by her. Otherwise, it would have uh, it would have shown us that. Uh, I'm gonna throw this guy into the pit so he can find her. That's <laughs> An impressive scalp to lay claim to. An impressive scalp to lay. <gasps> Camp supply pack. Wait, did her stuff just drop on the ground? That would be so excellent. There's nothing in it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, look at that. Another chest hidden in the rafters. This one with three different arrows inside of it. This chest is just above the room that the goblin leader of the gate. is talking to quite a few of his subjects. It's also the room that dead mind flayer is inside of. Zin is watching from above if things do not go well. However, Shadowheart is going to approach with the rest of the party, of course. I command you, corpse. Speak. Oh, he's doing absolute. speak with dead. I can't see the corpse. Bones. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. This is the big boss. Strike him down. The hobgoblin turns to you. Did you hear him say that? Squirms in your skull. Uh oh. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. Pretty sure that's Another the elf we just killed. Oh, true soul. As if there weren't enough of you. Right? He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Did you wake him up? Where is the body? I'd like to report a bug. Uh, study the corpse. Was this the mind flayer that tortured you? This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature, even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet so... It too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. 
Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. Let the ceremony proceed. I'm just curious to see if we're ever gonna actually gaze upon the Mind Flayer they're speaking about. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. Is it working? I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, Alcol Dek, Shulkok Hank. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. I'm gonna reload my save and see if that fixes now, this. this mind Man, come on! Absolute. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. Well, so settle in. Good luck. I just I'm gonna walk away. His skull sizzles with Ragslin's displeasure. His mouth is still, but you hear his demand. I speak for the absolute, and I say, you stay. Well, because we can't see the Mind Flayer, I'm just gonna attack. This is a really cool scene. I don't know why it's broken in my game, but here we go. Well, we're gonna wait until it's our friend's turn. We have a strength hex, that's not good. Oh, but I love where you're standing. Now, you may recall that we have seen someone fall into this pit before, and it's of course the home to some giant spiders. Goblins are very, very light creatures. Let's push one into the pit. That's gonna be how we're gonna do this. Meanwhile, let's look to Zen in the upper rafters. Once again, sorry this didn't play out. It's really, really cool. I, I tried a couple times to fix it. Nothing happened. Uh, we're going to sneak attack. This is a difficult camera angle from the high ground. Sneak attack from the high ground onto the warlock that casted that hex. I want it out of there. So it is gone. Now Zen is, of course, in the fight properly. Let's go back to our normal camera view. That is really cool to see him sitting up above this. That is very, very neat. We are not able to cast mirror image. In fact, we're not able to cast too much of anything. So what Shadowheart's gonna do is attempt to push another goblin down into the pit. Athletics check failed, so we're gonna swing. Three damage is all we can muster. Do you still have a, you still have an action. So let's swing at Sharp Eye Rue. This is a small goblin to the left of Will. Use your main hand attack. It needs a 13 to hit. You rolled a 9. So, gain advantage. This would let me roll again. We're definitely doing that. That allows me to hit. Perfect. And that concludes at least the first half of our turns. We have another shaman hitting the drum. Little do they know, all of the goblins that would answer that war cry have already been defeated inside of this temple. At least that I know of. There might be a couple more that could run over from this direction. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're coming over. That's gonna suck. We're gonna have to figure that out. Shots are going down to the low ground as they are starting to realize just how much of a threat the spiders are. Uh, I'm going to move Will closer to the enemy boss and we're going to go for an Eldritch Blast to knock another one down to the low ground. Ooh, we just got the Dark One's blessings. How wonderful. And I'm just gonna keep him moving by the stage. Will should be totally fine here. Now, it's time for Draw Ragslin. He is mad and raging on the stage. A big hit going towards Will, but he dodges it. Then a massive, massive, was that, was that a pushing blow? So is he part barbarian, part fighter? That sounds really fun. Meanwhile, Zen still on the high ground is going to fire off a sneak attack. Let me let me hide first. At one of the casters, this is Booyognat. 13 HP, that is a single hit for Zen. And now he 
will hold his ground. I might actually move over here just for some better line of sight opportunities, but that concludes his turn. The spiders down below are beginning to feast on the goblins that we sent into their lair. And it's, well, I said that, but then they missed all of their attacks. The goblins outside choosing to focus the spiders rather than the real threat that is attacking their leader. These guys are dashing in right now, though. If they want to continue to fight here, I'm going to continue to use Karlak's strength, her quite literally her strength, to win this fight for us. And I think it won't be that difficult to do. We'll just keep pushing everyone down into the pit. You know what? Let's grab this guy and send him down. Uh, do I need to do this mode? Oh, no. Just got to find the pixel right there. There you go, bud. Wait. It didn't. It didn't work. Okay. Well, I guess it just, uh, I don't know. Can you push? Move up here. Oh, God, I didn't expect 13 damage. But it was worth it. One more goes into the pit. Now, Shadowheart, you have a D... No, you don't. God, Shadowheart. <laughs> Come on! Uh, we could Charm Person. That's not going to do anything. We could Fire Bolt. That's never connected with anyone. Chance to swing is only 42%. I could cast a Sacred Flame using my last level one spell slot, but I'm going to save that just in case we do need a heal. All right, I'm pushing. That guy won't hit me. You're fine. Get in there. 30% chance. That's okay. The melee attack does connect. Wait, can you climb up those webs? I didn't know you could climb up those webs. Well, that's going to conclude that turn. Didn't exactly go to plan, but that's fine. A ranged attack on Karlak from Point Blake range and a shove, both doing nothing. The spiders are beginning to eat as 10 damage connects. Zen sees Karlak over in the corner and wants to help out, so we are going to fire off a sneak attack on Brawler Gerd from the high ground. That hits for 13 damage and once again eliminates a target in a single blow. They have poisonous attacks. <laughs> Is he just going to attack from there? I mean, that's fine with me. I am pretty concerned about this guy in front of me. We're going to cast Arms of Hadar with one of our spell slots. 65% chance to hit. It does. And then if I... if I, Oh. Do I want to action surge? No, I don't think I do. I'm going to second wind. Try to get back up to full health, which is exactly what we do, just in case this guy is mad. And he is raging, so woo! Pushing Will onto the high ground and then attacking his toes from the low ground. A leadership aura being cast. Ooh, I do like his positioning there, though. That's pit worthy right there. Is he going to run for the ladder? It doesn't look like he can move. Karlak has another of the goblins moving towards her, but she dodges that attack. I do not like Shadowheart's positioning here, especially since the leader is moving towards us. So I'm going to need to rethink that a little bit. We're starting to see Eldr... That's better, actually. Thank you. I don't know if you want to run towards Will, though. I don't think that would go better for us. <laughs> I think you were better off where you were. It'll be my turn soon, as soon as this goblin figures out that they can't do anything left. There we go. Uh, I'm going to take a small step to the side. You know what? Let's kill this guy first. 15 damage. Easy peasy. Small step to the side and try to push this guy down into the pit. Another perfect shot onto the spiders. Now with Shadowheart's turn, she's going to try to do the same. Into the pit. Deal with the spiders. Uh, good. I did not invoke attack of opportunity, and we're going to try to swing on the goblin leader. And if I have any more movement, no, we're good. That'll conclude my turn. Now, it is very possible that these spiders could be un overrun down there. But the point is that they were just keeping them locked in here as pets anyway. So if the spiders can eat, let's let them eat. The leader of the goblins, to my knowledge, no, there is a shaman to... Can you even aim at that shaman? Literally says I can hit that. I don't know if I buy it. Wow, dude, you are impressive. You are so impressive. 
I don't think I need to be up here anymore, so I'm going to get off of the rafters and start to back up my team. I'm even going to use my cunning action to dash. And maybe stand next to Will here. We'll see how this plays out. I will end my turn. The spider down below only has 13 HP remaining, but it just racked up yet another kill there. The archer that is overlooking this did ensnare one of the other spiders, so they're not going to be able to help each other out too much. Uh, Will is going to jump from the high ground down to the low ground and line up an Eldritch Blast. 60% chance to hit. It critically misses the enemy leader. Wow, I didn't realize how much HP he was missing. We're going to action surge. Try that again. Not quite into the pit, but it was close. It was very close. Oh, Will, that's not going to feel good. Oh, he has double attack. He has double attack. Of course he does. Repulsor, he just knocked Will down into the depths. He learned it by watching me. No! The spiders are holding. No, they're not. Okay, this is about to... Uh, this is going to escalate very quickly, it seems. Back up on the high ground, who is still in combat? We see Karlak. It's her turn. She's going to go for a swing on Dror Razglin. Five damage. Not the best hit I've ever seen. And push. Well, he's dead. <laughs> uh, that's Will's soul right there. We could probably... We could resurrect him. We could resurrect him. I would definitely use a scroll on that right now. And bring him back. No one's in line of sight of him either, so he should be healthy, but just in case, here's a heal. Now, most of our enemies are in the low ground in the next room. Karlak knows that. She can't do anything else with her turn. That spider's still doing well. Uh, I'm going to try to lockpick this door. Just mid-combat. Had no doubts. Now that it's open, I'm going to use the rest of my bonus action to just get low to the ground. I want to be able to attack this goblin here. Oh, he just shot a smoke bomb into the next room too. I'm glad I wasn't standing there. We're gonna have a hard time seeing anything. He's gonna figure out the rest of his turn, which he has none of it left. I wonder if I could like feather fall down there to see something. I don't think I can. Well, we are going to see Karlak step up to the sides of this room and fire off a ranged attack with her crossbow on one of the remaining goblins. Only two HP left. We connect for seven. They have been defeated. Shadowheart's going to step out of the smoke as well, although she's not going to connect with Firebolt because it never does anything. now <laughs> oh man oh man come on man come on uh i thought i was still sneaking i am not because he passed the stealth check so we're just gonna fire a crossbow bolt at sharp eye zami the one who was not dumb enough to enter the room with zen inside of it they do summon in a gigantic beast next to us we're going to see will move up next to shadowheart and try to get an Eldritch Blast onto the ground, hitting Warrior Clack for 11 damage and finishing them off. Uh, Karlak is going to jump around to the right and begin to move towards Zen this way, making sure that our uh, give it a goblin try. friend in the next room cannot escape. Shadowheart's going to open the door and cast nothing. Yep. The ward decides to hit Shadowheart instead of Zen. And now your days are numbered, friend. I wouldn't move up for an attack of opportunity, or excuse me, for a, for a melee attack, but I would get an attack of opportunity because of the warg's positioning. So we're just gonna use a ranged attack, 42% chance to hit. It does not work. Surprised. Zen is usually a pretty good 
Zen doesn't miss, even when the odds are against him. We should be able to get line of sight with Will for the final Eldritch Blast. 65% chance to connect. And it one to the easy does. Path. So, can I... Uh, Karlak, can you come here? Yeah. Let's go, go ahead and group up everybody. I'm going to right click on this body and throw it. My, my thought is that the cutscene was breaking because of the positioning of the dead mind flare. So we'll move him there. We are going to not short rest because I can't do that. We're pretty beat up. Maybe I shouldn't. It's only speak with dead. It's nothing else. It's nothing else. We are going to approach the mind flayer and try to use our amulet. Now, I thought his body would gr would glow if it worked. So let me save. I can only do this once per long rest. Granted, we're probably about to take a long rest. There we go. As the corpse rises, your parasite squirms in recognition. You know what? Oh, that thing is burrowing through my brain. It's dead. How could it do that? There's no doubt this creature is responsible for your parasite. And it's waiting for your questions. This might be best case scenario because I can ask my very own questions here. And it's not going to be the goblin leader wasting our speak with dead opportunities. How this works is forever. This corpse can only be asked five questions. So if we were to come back and use speak with dead after the long rest, we'd never be able to speak with it again. So at least it's my questions instead of the goblins. Although, like I said, that's starting the, the if you do let that cutscene play out where we couldn't see this body, it is pretty cool. You might want to try that in your game. How do I get rid of this parasite? What did the dragon right? Why did the dragon riders attack the ship? Are there more of your kind nearby? Why did you abduct me? or tell me who the absolute is. No, let's start with, get this thing out of me. How do I do that? You see the tadpole in the mind flayer's hand? Not a parasite. Perfection. Rebirth his sloughing flesh. A new skull housing cold, sharp intellect. Mm. We only have five questions. Tell me who the absolute is. Fractured images fill your mind. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. Why did you abduct me? Are there kind nearby? Why do the absolute... What does the absolute want from the goblins? I mean, they're just doing their bidding, right? Why did the dragon riders attack the ship? You watch through the creature's eyes as it curses the starborn slaves. They want the ones from the ship. Darkness and sun barely contained. Why did you abduct me? Dark, empty pods flicker across your vision. They demand new flesh. That seems fairly obvious. Are there any more of your kind nearby? If there are, I can potentially kill them and then speak with dead again. I mean, killing a mind flare. I, I, I don't know if I can do that. You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. The mind flare's corpse twitches then collapses again. It will speak no more. Well, well, well. There you have it. We have officially cleared out the entirety of the Temple of Salune. Well, more or less. There's one room we didn't go into. This guy was a prisoner. I freed everybody else. Let's free him. <laughs> I'm going to pick the lock. He is just a goblin. He clearly didn't get along with these goblins, right? Here you go, bud. You wanna... Wanna... Wait, I already did this. Why do I have to do it again? Oh my god. Okay, open, open the door. Praise is ever bleeding axe. 
praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGlubbyet! You know McGlubbyet. A tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Oh. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as goomless as the rest of them. Yeah, I don't really... I don't really care. You want to leave? Good luck to you. Ha! Look at where the absolutes love gotten. Dead! Thanks for breaking me out. Gonna find me a new tribe. One that appreciates the old ways. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> but we let him go. <laughs> oh, one more thing. There is a room. What's that? Oh, what is that? A burrow hole. Interesting. Uh, there's a room back here that has some merchants in it. Yeah, I don't even know if you could see them. Maybe they left when shit hit the fan. You can kill them like this, though. <laughs> if they were in there, they're not anymore. So what's this burrow thing? No chance I'll fit through that. No chance any of us are gonna fit through that. <gasps> Is that for druids? Oh, that's cool. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. We'll be back again very soon. 14 episodes in the first week of the game's release. Halson's going to want to know that all of the goblin leaders have been killed. So we'll visit him next time.